Hey everyone, Adobe has added a new AI removal tool to its Photoshop software. And I have to say, so far it's blowing my mind how good it is. If you want to follow along this quick tutorial, you can find a link to this exact image in the description of the video. And now let's jump into it. So here we have an image with a fence covering a bird in the background. I did edit something similar with the wolf in the background, but in that case it was pretty easy to fix using the content aware fill and the spot healing brush, since the wolf had a very easy repeating pattern in its fur. Here the problem is the coloring in the feather of the bird. This will quickly lead to problems using the spot healing brush or the content aware fill. I can give you a quick example. At the first glance this might look good, but looking a little bit closer you can see there's some strange things going on which really shouldn't be happening. And using the new AI removal tool this should be no problem at all. So let's undo these changes. Where can we find the new AI removal tool? Simply go to the spot healing brush and in that menu here we can find the remove tool. And now let's get rid of that fence. If you want to work non-destructively, you can check sample all layers, then create a new layer. And we are just working on that new layer. So I can paint over that fence right here. And this will get added to the new layer. Turning it off will reveal the fence again. And you just saw what this removal tool is capable of. I'm just going to paint over this and this tool kind of recognizes pattern in those feathers and is repeating them in a very nice way. And so we can just continue painting over the fence like this without risking too much of a problem in the pattern. Let me go to some of those harder areas at the bottom, right there where all the blue color tones come in. And you can see how this is really working very, very good. And of course, it's not always perfect. Like in this case, there's some green shimmer coming through, but I can just paint over it again. And Photoshop will most definitely get it right. So I can just continue my way, clearing all that fence. And again, here it looks a little bit strange. So again, just paint over it and it's done perfectly. Now, the content aware fill from before had some problems with that branch. So let me try getting rid of this fence part right there. And you can see it's working pretty good except for that bottom part. Let's brush over it again. And there we have it, a perfect result. But there's even more to this. If you check in the upper menu, you can see another checkbox, remove after each stroke, which just means I'm going to brush over this part and it will get removed. However, deactivating this will change the way you will clean up your images. So let's deactivate it. And now I'm just going to paint over the fence like this, just like before. And I'm letting go of the mouse and nothing happens because we have deactivated this box. Instead, we can continue painting over the fence on a different spot like that. And on a different spot like this. And just continue our way through this image. All right, and once you're happy, just click that check icon up there. Of course, depending on the area you are going to remove, this will take a while, but you can see it works very, very good. Again, we have a little bit of a strange pattern going on right there, so I'm going to paint over it one more time. Again, need to confirm using that check icon. Perfect. So hopefully, at this point, you can see how insanely powerful this new AI removal tool is. Of course, I'm not sure if it's really AI because nowadays everything has the word AI put in front of it, but still, nonetheless, this is a really, really great tool. So let's continue cleaning up this fence right here. Confirm. And again, if there are weird patterns appearing, I'm just painting over it again. So I think I forgot to mention in the intro of the video but that this is not yet in the live version of Photoshop. It's still in the beta phase. So if you want to give it a try yourself, you need to go into the Creative Cloud software under Applications. You can find the beta applications and here you can just install Photoshop beta. This in turn just means the removal tool will be added in the upcoming months in a newer Photoshop version. 
Until then, maybe they will even further improve this tool. So just for the sake of it, I am going to clean up this whole fence and I am probably going to use some fast forward effect in the video. I also just want to point out up here over the blurry background, of course it would also work with the content overfill or the spot healing brush, because that's an easy area to fix with the blurry background. However, again close, closer towards the eye of the bird and the beak, Content ever fill and the spot healing brush will have problems. I can demonstrate that using the spot healing brush. Let's try getting rid of this spot. And you can see this is very, very weird looking. So let's undo this change. Going back to the removal tool, which should really not have a problem with that. And there's a little bit of a weird thing going on. So I'm just painting over it again and it is perfectly fixed. So just keep in mind, if there is some error going on, just paint over it a few times until it's fixed. Again, on top of the beak, there is some strange thing going on. Again, I'm just painting over it to fix it. Just like that, you see how easy it is. Okay, here's another cool thing. The beak is a little bit messed up right there. Now, I'm just using the removal tool and paint over it like this. And it fixes the beak, just like that. All right, I do want to interrupt once more and just show you how insanely aware this tool is of edges. Right there, the fence is going over an edge in the branch. So I'm just going to paint over this and look what this tool does. It's filling this edge in a perfectly natural way. So this was always a huge problem using this pot dealing brush for me, especially on removing tinier branches from trees or something. All right, and this is the cleaned up version of this image. Before, after. And we have retained all that beautiful pattern in the feather of the back of the bird. So again, I just want to point out how insanely good this remove tool is. So I hope you will have a little bit of fun using this new tool. If you have any questions left about this tutorial, you can gladly ask me in the comments. I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. So thank you for watching this video and hopefully see you guys next time.